In this video, you're going to learn the exact skincare routine for your face and body for eczema. I went to my local pharmacist who recommended a product for me that was actually a bit of a mistake. And if I've been, if it's been recommended to me, it's probably been recommended to you too. And I'll explain to you why it's a mistake at the end. So if that sounds good to you, please give me a thumbs up. So let's get into what you're going to do first thing in the morning. So when you wash your face, please don't use a soap. I know you want to, and I know it's been advertised, but it's really not suitable when you have eczema. So just cold water on the skin for a very short amount of time. Then I want you to hydrate your skin. The biggest mistake people make at this point is that they'll apply a petroleum jelly or some sort of occlusive, but that doesn't actually hydrate your skin. All you're doing is creating a barrier. First, you have to hydrate your skin. The key ingredients to look for in packaging are things like urea, glycerin, those are my two favorite, and hyaluronic acid, specifically for eczema. There are other ones like um, lactic acid, for example, which are good too, um, but I wouldn't recommend that for eczema. So you want those ingredients first on your skin. So the one I quite like is The Ordinary. So The Ordinary have got a product called Natural Moisturizing Factor plus HA. HA is hyaluronic acid. So if you've seen my other video that I made on eczema, why you get eczema, the etiology of it, you'll know that 50% of people who have eczema have reduced NMF in their skin. So this is fantastic because this is going to replace that for you. Now, the thing to know about HA, hyaluronic acid, it's the miraculous ingredient that everybody's talking about at the moment, and it really is, but, and this is a big but, it is like a magnet to water. This means that if you live in a, in a dry environment, for example, in the UK, um, in the winter time, or you live in the desert, then what happens is the water doesn't come from the environment, the water comes from your dermis, and your skin, dries out and the faster you put this thing on the faster you need more of it so what that means is when you pop this on you must must be sure to apply a moisturizer on top that is of that has water content in it so that you're not drying the dermis so this is the first thing i would recommend you put on the skin and just a small amount the next thing i would recommend is cerave so i love this cream i used to apply cetraben Cetraben is the other one. Um, Cetraben is very good, but I actually prefer CeraVe because it's a thicker emollient. In addition, it's got ceramides in it. And as you age, you actually lose ceramides from your skin. You're not able to produce it as rapidly. And that's one of the reasons why your skin looks dull as you age. So this is actually a fantastic cream. What I'm gonna do is just show you what it looks like on my arm so you can see what to expect. So this is what it looks like on my finger. I don't know if it's focusing. <laughs> and then on my arm, can you see how thick that is? And when I apply a moisturizer, I actually tend to leave excess on the skin because it will absorb um, and then you know you've applied the maximum dose onto your skin. And especially with eczema skin, for you, the barrier is everything. Keeping that barrier tight and controlled and keeping that water content high in your skin is everything when it comes to treating your eczema. Now I would apply this on face and body. Um, then after this you have to be really good with your sunblock because especially if you've got eczema and skin of color when you have inflammation of the skin it triggers your melanocytes and you get pigmentation and actually people don't like the pigmentation more than the eczema itself. So in order to prevent that from happening, especially around the eye area where it leads to dark circles, you really need to get good at your sunblock. 
Now the sunblock I recommend is Color Science. This is the one I use. I literally purchased about five in a go last week. <laughs> this is SPF 50. It's fantastic for colored skin. It's a physical sunblock. I don't know if you have heard about physical versus chemical sunblock. I'm going to do a whole video for you on physical and chemical sunblocks. If you want me to do that, please can you write in the uh, comments section, yes, I know we'll do that for you. Let me show you what this one looks like. So this is medium color. What I do is pop this on my hand. Don't forget, you actually need to wear quite a lot. For the face, it's about a teaspoon of, on the whole face. So there, I actually popped on enough for, for the whole face, but I'm only showing you a little bit on my hand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for half for probably about 10 minutes, let it absorb into my skin, and then you're going to see what it looks like. When you first apply it, it does look quite white, but don't worry, it does calm down. And if you put makeup on on top, you know, just give it about 10, 15 minutes and then pop your makeup on. Right. Now, when it comes to eczema skin, I would urge you not to wear makeup because if you look at your skin under a microscope, you've almost got these gaps in the skin where irritants can come in and inflammation takes place. Now, when you apply any sort of cream or any cosmetics on top, there are going to be irritants in there that can exacerbate an inf um, a flare up. So I would try and avoid cosmetics if you can. If you absolutely can't and you know you you're like me and you love your makeup then just uh, there are a couple of things that you should do to protect yourself the first thing is when you take your makeup off at night time please don't use the classic things that are available i would recommend that you use this deep cleansing oil this is fantastic because it literally melts the makeup away but also it's not going to strip your skin so that's really important for eczema skin. So this is great. I'm gonna put links to all of these products, by the way, in the uh, box below. So make sure you have a look at those. So this is great. You pop it on for about two minutes, two to three minutes, rub it in, then cold water and majority of it will come off. If you like mascara um, or any sort of dark makeup around the eyes, this isn't gonna remove that. What I would recommend is pop on micellar water onto a cotton bud, um, onto a cotton pad and just pop it around the eyes. That's what I tend to do. Those two things together are gonna to make sure your skin is still hydrated at the end of it. You haven't used anything to strip the oils from your skin. Right, now I get asked all the time, what face wash should I use? I need a face wash. So you know I'm gonna tell you, I don't think it's a good idea to be wearing a face wash um, if you've got eczema prone skin, but if you are desperate and you really need it, then this is the one I would recommend. It's the one that I use. It's 100% soap free foam from Simple. Um, I don't feel like it dries my skin out, but it does feel slightly tighter than if I'd gone straight into the oils to, to cleanse my skin. So that's my take on this. If you desperately need it, okay, but um, ideally better not to. Okay, right, so when it comes to your body, what should you be using in the shower? This is my favorite Boilatum shower gel. This is great for children as well. Um, so when you're in the shower, you can lock in some of the moisture into your skin just by popping this on top. When you come out, however, make sure you wear your CeraVe again or your Cetraben. Um, and then on top of that, if you want to apply any sort of occlusive, you can do that as well. Now, the mistake that I promised I would tell you about. So I went to my local pharmacist and I asked him what he would recommend out of all the products available. And I was going through all the ingredients of everything on the shelf. And this is the one that he recommended. It was double base cream. The problem with this is that it's an occlusive, meaning it's not a humectant. It's not basically allowing, uh, it's not attracting water molecules into the epidermis. It's just creating a barrier on the epidermis. So let me show you on my inner arm, basically what it looks like. And just to show you what it looks like. So this is quite good to wear on top of your CeraVe. 
but this is not what I would put straight onto the skin after you come out of the shower. Now, do you remember I told you at the beginning what my hand would look like after you know a few minutes? So this is the Color Science Sunblock, and it's pretty much disappeared. I'm very happy to pop foundation on top of that, and literally no one knows. Right now, I've probably got four layers of sunblock on my face. Um, and you can't really tell. And I have actually created a free guide for you on skincare tips specifically for skin of color. You can download that from the link below. So if that interests you, please do that. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you have a great day.